this, it doesn't go past here by accident. You can't like go too much. What's good on this video, I'm gonna show you how to put this 75 inch TV on the mount that is only 1.5 inches away from the wall. I'm also gonna recommend recessed mounts. It's another way of mounting that requires a little more work. I'm also gonna show you how I mounted this on tiles, not just drywall over studs. So stay tuned for the whole video. All right, so this is the super slim uh, mount for TVs up to 85 inches. It is very, very slim. It only goes out 1.5 inches away from the wall, as you guys can see. Now we're gonna be attaching this over top of tile, so we have to very precise measurement. Always go into the studs. So we figured out that our studs are wearing here because we will be drilling through the tile as well. So we need to make sure we have holes inside the tile. Um, so the first thing is to kind of dry fit it if you can. The tricky thing is figuring out how low you want to have it visually. So with me, I marked out where I want the bottom of the TV, which is right over here. So the bottom of the TV, the plastic, I want it to be lined up with this edge and this edge. In order to accomplish that, I have to figure out how low is this supposed to be without seeing it visually, but still have the bottom lip touching the edge. So we figured that it's about an inch and a quarter from here to here is the bottom of the plastic of the TV. So then we need to measure an inch and a half from the bottom of the plastic, which is here, up to here. And here you can see there's a line. So that's one and a half inch plastic, which means this bottom plastic is going to be here, which is 1.5 inches away from the bracket that we attached on the VESA mounting system. So now you can see that this is, this is inch and a half and then the bottom is pretty much spot on that. And then we attach our screws. Now this particular mounting system also have this little spring, right? It makes it kind of easy to release it when you're going to be lifting the TV. Because one person can just do this and then you're going to lift it this way. You can't accidentally pull it away from the wall. So I kind of like that. Now this particular mounting system came with a whole lot of screws for smaller monitors. So this is all depending which type of monitor you have. The thickest screws are for the heavy TVs. I believe 70 to 85 inches, which is what we're using. Now again, it depends on your setup, but you may or may not need extension plastics, which they also provided you with that are right here. These you basically put in between here, right? You put it on top, kind of like what I did here. I put a little plastic washer on top of that. Now we know that we are one, two, three, four, five, six away from the top. So we're gonna line it up this way. We're gonna take our fattest screw. We're gonna put a washer because when you screw it in, you may have too much space, too much of a gap. In order to get the slimmest possible look, we need to raise it a little bit. All right, until you can't tighten anymore. If you can keep tightening it, or there is a gap here, you're gonna to wanna to get an extension. So maybe something like that. And I would put this behind here. All right, so now we are good and golden. Now we take our second screw and then we put this here. Now this one, because we are pretty much at the very bottom, we don't need an additional bracket. If we need it to be, say, in a center here, right? You obviously want to have something like, like that. So then you put this through it and then that gives you that extra lip. Um, but in our case, we don't need it because it's here by myself. So I will attempt to put this on myself. Although, do not do it unless you're 200% certain that you can do it. I've already done it once. Oh, and by the way, in case you're wondering, this is a little LED string because we want to have a little um, light um, shining onto the tiles that we're building here. Now we're going to dry fit the TV to make sure it's good. If it's good, we're going to go and remove that and we're going to tile and mark out where the spots are for the holes that go inside the wall. All right, so both holes are now cut like this. You want to make sure you get some sort of a plastic uh, bracket. So as you're tightening it, it's not actually going to go next. I'm going to chip or worse, crack the tile as you're gluing it on. So we're only going to get a little bit of in. Remember, we pre-drilled these holes before we put the tile on. And we measured exactly where to cut the hole on the tile. So we wouldn't have this issue later four holes in the cable loop uh, management is cut. The next step 
is to begin our routing. We want to route basically these seams so we can actually finish up the mounting and the screwing of the mount itself. To route, or we are using simple route, it's a pre-mixed, um, no mixing, no mess, it comes right in here and it, it's really good for vertical surfaces. Uh, some of the grout that if you're going to make it yourself, you make sure that's pretty thick otherwise it's going to come out of the joints. Um, it's actually very very easy uh, to get this going, I'm just going to show you. So you just get a putty knife, plastic ones are best for tiles, and then just like, there you go, and then you just put that in and work all the way down. You have about three minutes working time, uh, and then after three minutes you want to uh, you get a floater so you can press it in, but uh, you just need a sponge really just to, and a bucket to start wiping it clean. So. And here is the final result. The 75 inch TV is on the slim mount. We ended up tiling that whole place. I want to show you guys where those pull strings are. The pull strings are right here. So again, if I pull this, I can pull the TV out and you can see that the TV itself is pretty thick. It's uh, 2.93 inches, but the gap from where the TV is to where it ends is only 1.5 inches. Let me just zoom in so you guys can actually see. So there is the, the mount itself. So, could it be slimmer? It could definitely be slimmer, but in order to get this slimmer, you would have to have this part be uh, eliminated. And there are TVs that are more expensive. They don't have this. And then the, the VESA mount is kind of recessed inside. So, yeah. But again, you're talking about another five, $600 difference. It's, in my opinion, not worth it. This looks definitely nice. And again, I was telling you guys about that LED string. The only problem is that it does shine, reflect on the Tiles, if the tiles were matte, it wouldn't be so bad, but at night, this looks so good. And then this is obviously controlled to the remote and I can change the colors as well. And it just looks really nice. So that's it. Thanks for watching.